Hi, my name is Dr. Joe Caffrey and I head up the Invasive Species section in Inland Fisheries Ireland. Uh, this rather innocent looking plant here to my left is one of five priority or high impact invasive species that currently infest our freshwater systems. Uh, this plant in suitable habitats can very rapidly grow to form dense interwoven mats such as we have here. Within these habitats in the space of a few months of being introduced, these stands have the capacity to overgrow the habitat, but not only that, they also have the capacity to competitively exclude and even eliminate most or sometimes all of the native plant species. Not only that, um, they can in turn impact on the native insect species that live on our indigenous plant species, but they can also impact on the fish communities. This plant has another string to its bow in that when it suitably fills the aquatic habitat with this type of vegetation, it can move from the aquatic habitat to the terrestrial environment. So it actually has an aquatic growth form that we're seeing here and a terrestrial growth form. So it can move from the terrestrial habitat and infest and impact on the riparian zone. So it really is one of these nasty invasive species. So what I want to do now is to show you how to simply identify this species. The plant itself is reasonably rigid. So when you take it from the water, while it may collapse, it doesn't collapse fully upon itself. In other words, the stem is reasonably rigid. Also, the stem is round. It's easy to determine this by rolling it between your fingertips and it'll roll freely indicating that it is a round stem. Important, when you lift it from the water, you'll notice that the leaves are rigid. In many other species, the leaves collapse down along the stem. Here you will note that all of the leaves are rigid. The leaves are born in opposite pairs and they're arranged alternately, so more or less at 90 degrees. So from one node, we have in the, the leaves in this orientation at the next node at 90 degrees. So the reason that the stems remain rigid or erect is because they're actually succulent or spongy to the feel. So while they appear quite narrow, if you squeeze them, they are actually spongy. Another distinguishing feature relating to Crassula um, relates to the manner by which the leaves join the stem. For this I'm going to have to show you on the computer behind me. Here we have it magnified and you'll notice that the two leaves, the opposite leaves, they merge or coalesce to form quite a distinctive collar. This normally is visible to the naked eye but if you have a hand lens it certainly is very very clear. So this is quite distinctive in relation to Crassula. In the wild in Ireland, there's really only uh, one other species that uh, reasonably closely resembles Crassula, and that's a plant called starwort or calitrichae. Now, there are a number of species of calitrichae in Ireland, but uh, I have one species here that is reasonably representative of that group. The first thing you'll note is the difference in colour, and this, this is quite true to what you'll see in the real world. The Crassula invasive species is dark green, Calitrichae, or native species, almost always is a very light green colour. One other distinguishing feature is the fact that with our native species, when you remove it from the water, rather than the leaves remaining rigid as they do in, in Crassula, the leaves collapse down along the stem. They don't have the rigidity factor that the Crassula has. But there is one diagnostic feature and really you do need a hand lens or extremely good eyesight to see this and it relates to the leaf tip. The leaf tip in Crassula and the leaf tip in Calitrichae or Starwort are very different and I'm going to show you here the magnified version. I think it's very very clear here that we have two very different plants. Our invasive Crassula is quite needle like and comes to a, a point whereas the starwort or calitrichae, our native species, is 
quite distinctly not. It is, should be digital, it is, but uh, a hand lens will certainly pick it up for you. Should you come across cross yellow helm's eye in the, in the wild, uh, we would urge you very strongly to report the sighting to Inland Fisheries Ireland. Uh, you can report it uh, at infofisheriesireland.ie or we have a 24 hour emergency number and that number is 1890 FISH24 or 1890 34 Thank you very much for your support.